Hey, what's up everyone? Happy 2018. It's good to be here. So we're going to dive right into this one. We're going to go into Google Sheets and we're going to look at some of the protections that you can do on your Google Sheet. You can protect certain ranges. You can also protect sheets as a whole, certain uh, sheets out of your big sheet. <laughs> and um, you can also have it warn you whenever something's going to be edited. So this is very useful, especially when you have a lot of collaborators in the Google Sheet. Maybe you don't want them editing certain parts of the sheet. So let's go right into it. So let's say, let's say this computer section in this Google Sheet, for example, is something that only I want to edit and I don't want any of my collaborators to edit. So what you can do is you can select this area here and you can head up to data and go to protected sheets and ranges. Now, since I did have this pre-selected, it will give it to me here and you can set permissions easily. If you don't have it selected, you can still go back to data, protected sheets and ranges and you can add it in here. You can select your range and then it will go up there. Okay, so now once you click on set permissions, you get this dialog. So either you can show a warning when editing this range or you can restrict who can edit this range. In this situation, I want to restrict it to only me. So I'm only going to put this one here, going to click on done. Now the nice thing is that it will show up here as a, uh, a little box that I can click on and you can delete it, you can change it. Um, if this closes, if I close that, I can always head up to here back to data, protected sheets and ranges and it will, it will show up there. Now what you can do is let's say house is uh, an area that I want uh, another one of my collaborators to look at. So we will do the same thing. We'll go to data, protected sheets and ranges, set permissions. But in this situation, instead of this, that says only you, I will want to go to custom. Now here, if you have other collaborators, they will be listed here. Unfortunately, I don't have any other collaborators in this Google sheet, but you can get the gist. What you can do is you can select who can edit this range. Maybe I only want a few people. Maybe only I want uh, certain people to have access to that. Then you'll click on done and then that'll be it. Now, another awesome thing here is that you can have it show warning when editing this range, which is useful. You know, sometimes you don't, uh, maybe maybe sometimes you don't trust yourself. Maybe this house area is something that I don't want to be making changes in. Um, you know, once you click on, once you add something, it will give you a heads up. Um, but also, uh, let's say you have like multiple sheets down here. So like, let's say sheet two, for example, is a, uh, a computer sheet that I only want to have uh, editing access to. You can also do that. So if you go to the same area, you can click on this to click on sheet. So I want to add permissions for sheet two, for example, and you can set permissions and you can have it to where basically the same thing where only you or a custom select of people can access or not access more like edit uh, that area. So we click on done and then you will get a little lock sign there, which is pretty awesome. So that's pretty much it. It's pretty cool. It's pretty useful. I would say it's something to, uh, to, to do. I think it's something to get used to and it's a good thing to have, especially when you have a lot of collaborators. You want to make sure that data is going to be uh, consistent and it's going to be useful. So thanks a lot everyone. Have a good one. Happy 2018. I'll be making more videos, especially more Google videos, especially now that uh, I was fortunate enough to pass my Google Certified Educator Level 2 certification, which was very awesome. Um, you know, now I feel like I should be able to put out more videos and to try and help out uh, as much as I can. Please comment, subscribe. Thank you very much. Have a good one.